Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseke on Wednesday, 26 April 2023, commissioned the Emocell Tablet Production Center for Benin Technical School, where students could equip themselves with skills to produce and repair tablet computers. The Obuge people will follow Oga Obaseke do this commission in a Secretary to State Government, Osaudion Oge Esquire. Commissioner for Education, Dr. Joan Osao Viawe, and the Commissioner for Housing, Physical Planning, Urban and Regional Development, Isoke Omo, and other top government orgas. For the commissioning, Obaseke Kontol say in they committed to technical and vocational education and the administration go connect the 18 local government areas to fiber optic internet and he go extend them to schools for the state to drive the industrial revolution. A constant talk say for 2016 and 2017 when we enter power, over 30,000 Edo youth they go Libya to cross go Europe and our education be the problem and now he make them reform the education sector to reduce human trafficking and illegal migration and he can say in administration make the move to change the narrative and say we don't they see the result and the world too don't they recognize us don't forget the first day i resumed work as a governor the first place i visited was Benin technical college and it was deliberate because as far back as 2016 it was clear to us in government that unless you change the paradigm in terms of education in our country, we are not going anywhere. That if you look at the history of Nigeria and, and why we were great in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and up till the 90s, was because of the, the kind of investments that we made in education, particularly at the foundational level and also at the skills level. Unfortunately, most of those gains have been wiped out. But we believe that we can rebuild. And we have started that process in Edo State. We have done well. Whether people accept it or not, whether they want to talk about it or not, the world recognizes that Edo Best is a global innovation. I just got back from Washington, D.C. There was a global summit of countries who are transforming the educational system. Edo State was the only non-country that was invited. <laughs> only two countries from Africa, two entities from Africa, Sierra Leone and Edo State. Everybody else was from another country in the world. So we were not hiding what we're doing anymore. We want to talk about it because the world is talking about it. We have said as a government, never again in our history will we go through what we've gone through in the last 20, 30 years. Where our children have refused to accept the situation we have put them in. And anywhere else but home, they will go. People keep forgetting that in 2016, 2017, when we took over our office, you had at least 30,000 Edo boys and girls in Libya trying to cross. If they were well trained, if they had skills, would they have traveled? So we said never again. We will go anywhere in the world to look for the resources. We are blessed. We are fortunate that we have people. Look at the chairman of Imose. He's developed this device and selling across the country and across the world. He's our own. That's why we said, please come. Oh, can it be affordable? I said, of course, people will look for. We'll look for ways to afford it. For those families and children who are so indigent and cannot, we will look for means to make sure that they are able to have this device. Obaseki Konsti talks say as we celebrate the Education Week, now our pleasure to unveil another innovative program where we go add value to the lives of our students as they not go only get certificates but skills where we go make them employable or create more jobs for others. And say the government's vision now to transform the education sector and them go continue to fight against sharing of money where they suppose use for education. And this will not be just school but also production center where then they create opportunities for practicals as contractors go use materials from the school. As we celebrate Education Week this year, it is indeed a pleasure to unveil another very innovative program which the Ministry of Education has come up with. We didn't think that the right thing to do was to behave like they've always behaved in the past. 
by making noise when nothing has been achieved was that we wanted to first achieve something, show evidence before we now make noise and uh, let people know what we have done. What we need to do is to work on the political class because except we work on the political class, we may not get out of the morass we're in. Because in all of our politics, in all we do, in the, nobody is interested, we the politicians are not interested in education. We're not interested in development for our people. That is not the purpose. So if you look at, we've just finished a whole series of elections. Nobody, caused, nobody cared about Dini Technical or any of our technical schools or what we're doing in Edo Best. They were not the issues. The issues were, how do I make my own money? And that's what the fight is all about. So when you hear in town, oh, Obaseki is not doing anything. Yes, he's not doing anything for some people who want to chop money. But he's trying to do things for those who believe in the future of Edo State. And we'll continue to fight them. We've, thank God you've joined us. We've shown them over and over when they come, we defeat them. Because they cannot be more important than the people. We are here for the people. We are here for the next generation. And we are ready to continue the fight until we succeed. Under our Adobes 2.0, from JSS 3, every child will now have their own tablet. Because all the schoolwork, all their, their books, everything will be loaded onto that piece of device. So that whether in class or not in class, they can be learning. And what we've also done, and we're very proud of, and we ask anybody to challenge us. This is how we're spending those taxpayers' money. We are now connecting every local government in Edo State with fiber. So every local government will have direct internet connection. And a lot of the internet connection will go through all the schools. So it's not just having a device that you just load once a week or a day. You're having a device that you can interact with on an ongoing basis. For this school, Benin Technical, it is supposed to be a pilot of what we want to do across the state. We've said that every local government must have a technical college. And it is just not a technical college where you produce people with certificates. A technical school where people live with skills. The plan is simple. Invest in basic education, the foundation. Make sure that by the time a child is 10 or 12 and leaving primary six, that child can read fluently and has strong numeracy skills. The child now goes to JSS because under the UBEC law, the child is supposed to be under the custody of a government system until the child is 15. So by the time the child is leaving JSS 3, that child should be prepared for work. So that if the child, unfortunately, does not have the opportunity to continue, the person will not be useless to themselves. We cannot accept anymore the drop-off ratio we've seen, where there is a 50% drop-off ratio of children from school between primary 6 and SS1. That is what you see in the motor parks. That's what you see driving irregular migration and human trafficking. We have decided to change that trajectory such that by the time a child is finishing JSS3, you know clearly, I am going to a technical school or I am going to a senior secondary school to prepare me for university or polytechnic. Clear. And while you are in the technical school, or in the tertiary, you are already working. Whatever area of interest, whether you want to be in the food business, whether you want to be in the technical area, whether you want to be in technology, you start it then. Six months ago, we were fortunate to be introduced 
to the chairman of Emosi Technology. And it was clear because at that time we were still toying, apart from the fact that we're using this to change the entire pedagogy of our post basic education system. We're also using this place, which has been our dream, as a production hub. If you go behind, you'll see some, uh, some buildings which we're putting in place. We want to attract industry to come here. We're discussing with them in Evike, Evike the spare parts, to see how we can help set up workshops here in this area. We're discussing with Osiomo and Ihobo Power Company to see how we can bring electricity from the IPP across you know, the Koba River here. So that it is just not a school. It is also a production center where people are doing different things because they have electricity, they have access to water. And the children will now have an opportunity to work in these facilities, in these factories. So it's just not going to technical school and having paper qualification. While you are in school, you have an opportunity to now do practicals. We are also talking to our contractors in the construction industry that they must use resources from our technical schools so that these children can begin to understand the rudiments of whatever professions or skills they are acquiring. The chief executive officer of Emose Technology, Osai Zedume, Kontok said the center go ensure intensive training for the student as it go enable students to become employed and he contact the governor for the educational reforms. Having an opportunity to partner with his excellency and, and the team in Edo State is something that I hold dear. What we're doing here today um, is going to transform lives. The impact may not be obvious today, but as these children that go through um, the intensive training we're going to put them here will go through, uh, they are going to be made life ready so they can be gainfully employed and take care of themselves as they come out of here. So I want to thank His Excellency very, very specially for his leadership, for his guidance, and for his unwavering commitment to education. One of the students for the Benin Technical College, Ms. Oluchi Favor, called Tore Salute, give the governor, said the teaching program starts with lesson where we focus on repairs and then progress to production aspects. As we all know, the Imose Tablet Production and Repair Center is a new establishment in our noble college. I'm standing on this podium on behalf of the students of this great college to humbly appreciate Imose for partnering with the Edo State Government to establish this great opportunity here in Benin Technical College. I also want to appreciate the Edo State Government in person of Governor Godwin Obaseki for providing adequate facilities and a clean and conducive environment. The Imose Tablet Production and Repair Center is a private technical organization which deals on the production and repair of tablets. The teaching program is to begin with lessons focused on the repairing aspects to be progressed into the production aspects. On behalf of the students of this great college, I humbly appreciate the governor for adding sugar to our team by providing extra opportunity in the Skill Acquisition Center. As we all know, Skill acquisition can never be overemphasized, especially in this era that technology is gradually taking over the world and the society at large. In conclusion, I would like to say to the students of this great college that we have been placed in a position with advanced opportunities and we should take great advantage of it. From Benin City, A. Carter, Ojay Selin, TMC TV News.